So I just bought this ninja sight unseen. Uh, it was through somebody I know. They said, hey, this has been sitting for a while. Is it something you're interested in? And I said, sure. So I went and picked it up. Uh, it is kind of a clam, I gotta say. <laughs> it's, it's a little rough uh, around the edges. The, uh, I don't know what's going on with the fairings. They're painted black with what looks like bed liner. It's uh, a little rough. It's been sitting for a number of years. I don't know exactly how many, uh, somewhere around six years that it's been. Uh, I don't know the last time it was started. Um, the gas tank is seized shut, so I can't get into the tank to empty it out. Uh, I'm sure that the carbs are thrashed. Uh, although, the choke lever and the throttle cables are free, so that's a good thing. Um, clutch works, uh, all the gears work. I don't know if it's even free. I don't know if the motor's free or not. So what we're gonna do is, uh, I don't trust the oil that's in there because it's so old. So instead of causing more damage, we're going to drain the oil on it, take the battery out. Obviously the battery's shot. So got a new battery for it. Um, yeah, drain the oil, change the filter out, give it a wash, um, disassemble the whole thing, the air box into the, the carburetors, make sure that um, I guarantee that there's mouse nests in it, like 100%. There's got to be. So we're going to pull those all out before we suck them into the engine. Um, there is plenty of leaves to pull out of here. And yeah, it just needs a good, good going through. Uh, oddly enough, the tires actually seem pretty good. Uh, for their age, they are like seven years old. They look brand new. So put brand new tires on it and then didn't ride it, which, you know, whatever. Uh, chain needs a little love, but it could be worse. Uh, yeah, it's, you know, it needs some love. It needs some love. It's a 2001 ZX6R. Uh, the year before, it's the last year of the 600s uh, for this style, the 2002s, they went to a 636. Um, it does have six pot uh, calipers in the front, which is actually pretty cool. Uh, I think that's neat, looks good too. Uh, I like the blue color match wheels, obviously like used to be blue. Um, I think I'm gonna wrap it. I'm gonna sand this paint down, try and get a better finish on it. And then I think I'm gonna try and wrap this one in uh, some other color. Um, there's, some weird stuff going on. The seat doesn't want to stay on right now. Uh, yeah, it's, it's a bit of a turd, but I think we can polish it up. Uh, I don't plan on flipping it or anything like that. I'm a, I'll do another budget just because out of curiosity. Uh, I can tell you that between the oil, the plugs, the filter, and the battery is 200 bucks. So we're already into it for, you know, a bit. Um, but I don't think anything's missing. I'm hoping that the wiring isn't chewed up too bad or at all would be the best bet. Um, and hopefully the engine's not seized. That's, that's my big concern. We'll change the oil. We're gonna pull the plugs. We'll put a new battery in it and see if the starter's good and if the engine wants to turn over that way. So let's see if it works. All right, now we just need to whip this battery out. A couple of five millimeter Allens. <clears throat> Ooh, those are a little stuck. Pull that bracket off. Make sure retain the bolts. And now just a couple, oh, that one's already missing a screw. And then, oh, there's gonna be a lot of cleaning on this one. And, out comes our battery. The gas cap was uh, pretty stuck on here. In fact, the key wouldn't even turn. I'd just been trying to work it back and forth with a little bit of WD-40. Ooh, 
Yuck. Oh, I guess that's why it's stuck. There's a lot of corrosion in here and also a lot in the top of that tank. Yeah. See how bad the inside of the tank is. You know, it's not as bad as I expected. Definitely a little rusty, but not nearly as bad as I expected in the tank. The top tank here, top piece is real rusty. Let me. So yeah, the top in there is really, really bad. I'm gonna have to take some sandpaper in there and uh, try and clean that all out, I guess. And also, gas caps all covered with some aluminum oxide, or yeah, aluminum oxide. So, not great, uh, but fixable. At least we got it open. The spike has been sitting for like seven years, something like that, judging by the date code on the tires, and the tires look brand new. And I know he said that he had put tires on it and then never rode it. So I don't know the last time it was started or even gone through, but that's at least better. Let's see here, Phil. Still sticky, but definitely a lot better than it was. Starting to loosen up a little bit, but. Let's see if it shuts now. Okay, not bad. And open back up. Better. Definitely easier that time. Man. All right, well, it's something. I'll move on to taking this tank off. All right, so I was getting ready to change the oil. And if the camera focuses on this, that's the oil plug that they're using. I don't even know what's going on here. So we're going to take that apart real quick and see what the hell is going on. Ooh, yuck. Yep. <laughs> Holy crap. We got like a boat drain plug in here. Now I don't know if they lost it or if those threads are stripped. But that's going to be Interesting. All right, well, we're not gonna put new oil in it today, that's for sure. Also explains where the little bit of oil that I was seeing came from. The oil itself doesn't look too bad. It's not like super black or anything like that. It's kind of amber. I don't see any sparkle in it, but we'll take a closer look here in a minute. Really hoping that's just, they lost it and not it's stripped. So this is what was used for the drain plug. Um, it looks like there's still, let's see if I can get this. It looks like there's still threads in there. So I'm hoping they just lost the bolt. Uh, so I'm gonna have to see if I can track down one at the local parts store. But yeah, that's a first. So I was able to run to the parts store today, pick up a new air filter and a new drain bolt. So now we can start to put everything back together. So first we're gonna just drop in the air filter, which is pretty straightforward. Four shorts across the top, longs in the back. All right, not too bad there. Let's move to the drain bolt and screw that back in. Put the oil back in it and let's see if it will run. All right, we got our new drain bolt. Uh, didn't have a factory one. This one's got a little magnet in it, but the dimensions are right. So let's uh, drop it in there. Uh, well, I guess we know why they had that stupid drain plug in there that they made. Pan stripped out. 
Somebody must have over torqued the shit out of that. The threads are still there, kind of, but uh, it doesn't tighten up at all. Shit. Time to start looking for a pan.